hello everyone welcome back so today we are making this sugarless butter cream and it's so easy to make so let's dive in here i'm adding my granulated sugar and i'm also adding some all-purpose flour about four tablespoons and my whole milk so i'm using my hand wigs here to gently mix this together to dissolve after it has dissolved, we are going to place this on top of our stove. And we are going to cook this mixture until it's tickling like this. So this cooking is going to take us about 5 to 7 minutes and we'll be done. So you can see here, you can see that the volume have reduced. The flour is well cooked and the sugar is dissolved. So here we are going to pour it into our plate here i like to use flat plates to quicken the cooling time if you pour this inside a deep bowl it might take you a longer time to cool down and i don't have that patient right now so i'm going to use this flat one to make sure i pour it and to make sure the cooling time is faster you are going to use your clean film and put it on top just to make sure the up does it dry out so make sure your clean film is sitting on top of your mixture so here i've left it to cool for an hour but you can hasten the cooling time by putting it in your fridge to make sure it's cool faster and when it cold you are going to bring it out and let, leave it for a room temperature before you can use it so here i'm using uh, adding my butter into my bowl here i'm going to wig this butter until it's light and fluffy and this mixture is going to take me about three to five minutes to mix as you are mixing it you are going to be stopping the machine from running or if you are using your hand wigs to mix it make sure you scrub the side of the bowl just the way i'm doing it so i'm going to whip it for some few seconds then we are good to go so here our butter is already mixed and it's time for us to add our pudding inside this butter you are just going to add it little by little do not pour all at once because it's not going to work that way so just add little by little and make sure you don't over mix it you just make sure it's blend together and you stop the mixer or you stop your hand whisk from mixing it further so i'm going to repeat all this process until we finish the last batch so you can see me the i'm adding the last tablespoon on it and i'm just going to whisk it so here we are done mixing and i'm going to take my spatula again and make sure i scrubbed it together this buttercream is so smooth is so fluffy is so light and it also very tasty so if you are the type that you don't want too much uh, of sugaring like america butter cream i will recommend you give this recipe a try just look at the way it's so light and it's so smooth so i'm just going to take some into my piping bag here i'm going to be piping some designs for you to see how this butter cream looks like if this is your first time you are coming across my video you are highly welcome here is easy recipe please you can follow me for more video by clicking on the subscribe button so that whenever i post new video you get notification and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much so look at our beautiful rose roses that i just piped and you can see the one that I added color they are so beautiful it's very smooth and it's very easy 
to work with you can use this on your cupcake you can use it on your cake I actually left this butter cream on room temperature in my kitchen and it stayed there for four days nothing happens to it so i'm actually very impressed with this recipe i know my beautiful fans can do this see you on my next video bye